getting dumped by the Dallas Mavericks Wednesday night. The Spurs look to get back on track Saturday night at home with the sub 500 Orlando Magic. According to PlayoffStatus.com, the Spurs currently have an 11% chance to grab the eighth and final playoff spot in the West and less than a 1% shot to grab one of the top seven spots. With 25 games left in the regular season, PlayoffStatus.com says the Spurs have an 88% chance of missing the postseason. Lakers on the road versus the Warriors last night. No LeBron James for L.A. Draymond Green was back for Golden State after missing two games. Second quarter, Dwight Howard battling for position in the post with Green, and they both fall down after contact. Green gets called for a personal foul on the play. He's not happy, so Green lets Tyler Ford, the ref, know what he thinks of the call, and Ford gives Green a technical. Moments later, Howard tries to screen Green for Kyle Kuzma, and Green falls down from the contact. Green appears to trip Howard as he hits the floor, and Green gets called for the foul. That's when he absolutely loses it. He starts screaming at the refs in frustration and is given a second technical foul and is ejected. The technicals came 11 seconds apart. LeBron, well, he starts laughing at Green as someone who's been kicked by Draymond. He had the chuckle. Lakers roll the Warriors 116 to 86. San Antonio FC made a very cool move yesterday, signing Central Catholic star Jose Gallegos to a multi-year deal. The 18-year-old helped lead the Central Catholic Buttons to their fourth straight state soccer title and has played for SAFC in exhibition games this season. Gallegos has been a member of SAFC since 2019 on a United Soccer League Academy player agreement. Now his first pro contract comes with the Alamo City Club. It's a special moment for me. It's uh, I've said it before. It's it's every kid's dream, and, and I'm very blessed to be in in, in this position. Um, my family's very happy, especially to sign a contract here at home in front of my family, my friends, everyone. So I'm very uh, happy. San Antonio FC has one final exhibition match today at 1 p.m. at Toyota Field against RGV FC. And then they kick off their regular season at home against Real Monarchs on March 7th. Pleasanton boys basketball team is back in the area finals for the third time in the last four years. After finishing with a perfect 12-0 record in District 30, 4A, and 31-3 overall, the Eagles open the playoffs with a dominant 152 victory versus Pearsall. And now they prepare to face Sinton, who knocked them out of last year's playoffs in the regional quarters. The biggest thing the Eagles have going for them, team chemistry. All the seniors have played together for three or four years, and uh, we just have that chemistry together, and we work together all the time, and uh, we have chemistry with the whole team. We're all just together. Uh, this is a brotherhood. When we're out here, we push each other, work hard, and when we're not, we're always together. This is, this our team is our everything. Pleasanton takes on Sinton tonight at 6 in Cuero. Pro Football Coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. Alabama wide receiver Henry Ruggs III had a wow moment at the NFL Combine being held in Indianapolis, running a 4.2740 elite speed for sure, but not fast enough to break the mark set by John Ross, who put down a 4.22 in 2017, which is considered the record in the Combine's electronic timing format that began in 1999. Totally makes that's, me feel a lot slower. That's flying right um, there. Super slow. How about Jose? How many times do you think a guy has come up to him in class and go, hey, can I get a loan? Yeah. <laughs> right. You think you've heard that right. already. Hey, can I get an autograph? Yeah. So he's, I was asking gonna be a star. Larry, so if he, the season starts in March, we can go see him play. Yeah, he'll That's be awesome. there. Yep, he'll be playing. All right. Congratulations, Jim. That is a great story. All right. Talk about great stories. They always have some great stories to tell down there at SA Live, don't they? Yep. Oh, yes, we do. And it is a very colorful Friday on today's show. Because you know what tomorrow is? Leap day! Yes! <laughs> we didn't even practice that. No, but that's what we are celebrating today in honor of all those leapers out there who have birthdays every four years. Yeah, once every four years. So why not go big with a four-tiered cake? Yes, Allie Olgin, home baker and owner of Cakes by Tori wow. Elizabeth, is here. Oh my it's goodness. Beautiful. Not one, not two, not three, but four tiers on and that cake. You make every little thing that goes on there, right? Including all of the fondant accessories. I do. Accents. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, so in order to make these fondant polka dots, I normally use circle cutters. Right. So I just roll out the fondant and then cut them out and punch them. If you don't have fondant cutters, you can always use piping tips. Okay. They come in different sizes. You can use the front or the back and it 
She's going to teach us that, and we're going to try our hand at it. Speaking of leapers, how about little bunnies that leap and hop? And Ashley Duncan from Janda Exotics is here. Who is that little furball? This is Wally, and he's an English Angora bunny, and he sure does hop. Boy, <laughs> we've got some other really cute ones for you coming up. And what do you wish only happened once every four years? Share your comments on social media and tag us at SA Live KSAT. Don't forget, Sunday is Peanut Butter Lover's Day. Ooh, and this is from PBJ and Tay. All these great sandwiches they brought for us. Cream that cheese, more bacon, up. and grape. Yes, please. Welcome back. Current temperature is 68 degrees. We'll be up in the low 70s today, mid 70s tomorrow, upper 70s on Sunday with more humidity. You'll feel it a little bit on Sunday, but uh, it leads to more cloud cover and then eventually hopefully some showers and storms Tuesday into Wednesday, but it stays fairly spring like all the way into next week. So don't be fooled. Don't wash your car. All right, so we just have two questions <laughs> about the upcoming episode of SA Live. Number one, is the frog on that cake edible? And number two, can we just come down and hang out with Wally? The bunny is so fluffy. We want to hang out with Wally. We'll find out the answer to those questions, right? Now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. I can't even with the cuteness right now on this fabulous Friday. We are celebrating Leap Year today, an event that happens only once every course four years. Mm -hmm. I'm Fiona Gorspiza, and we will introduce you to that yeah. cuteness in just a little bit. But this cuteness is my coaster age. Well, you're awfully sweet. Oh, by the way, it's David, Friday. yes and yes. <laughs> And we'll talk about yes. that in a moment. <laughs> I'm Mike Osterhage, and this is Fiona Gorostiza. And, of course, tomorrow is Leap Day for Leap Year because it has to kind of add on because it takes 365, we've always learned, 365 and a quarter days for the Earth to go around the sun. But not quite because, actually, it's 365, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 45 seconds, so not quite a quarter of a day. So, therefore, there is no Leap Year that's a in every... Uh, if a year is divided by 100. So in 1900, there was no leap year. In 2100, there's no leap year. However, that then takes away a little too much. So if the year is divisible by 400, like in the year 2000, there is a leap year. So actually, back in 2000 was an extra special year because there was a leap day in that year, and that was the first time that that was ever done in the Gregorian calendar, which was first started in the 15, late no. 1500s. I'm sorry. Okay. I felt like I was, back in, I was back in school right after lunch. You know, that's always the worst class because you, you know you'd just eaten. There's huh. going to be yeah, a test. Yeah, those were a lot of numbers. On, so. That was very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of numbers. <laughs> you with know that. a lot of stuff. In our <laughs> lifetime, we don't have to worry about it. Every four years is going to be a leap year. <laughs> okay, that's what I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> and if your birthday is on that, you need a really extra special cake too. Okay, yes, because people born on February 29th, of course, are called leapers, and since they technically get one birthday every four years, we are going all out today because not one tier, not two, not three, but four tiers oh. of. Oh, that is amazing! The artist who created that is Ali Olgin, home baker and owner of Cakes by Tori Elizabeth, to show us your leap year masterpiece, and that okay. is definitely a so, masterpiece. David Sears wanted to know: Is the frog edible? Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. he is, and yes, he mm -hmm. is because what is he made out of? He's made out of Rice Krispie treats covered in chocolate and then covered in fondant. So all of him is edible. So you could actually just kind of go up and take a. Yes. So his, <laughs> his, his body is the Rice Krispie Treats, Correct, right? yes. And then his arms and legs are the fondant? fondant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So four layers of cake in here. This yeah. one, since it's kind of askew and no cake would ever hold up, is actually... Foam. That's made out of styrofoam. Correct. Okay, but still yes. covered in the fondant and all mm -hmm. the little... Yes, so, just for support. So all this top part, this is all edible, right? Yes. This is edible, the frog? Mm -hmm. Everything down here? Correct. Wow. <laughs> It makes you want to have a birthday only once every four years if you get a cake that looks like that. Uh, and you, like we were talking about, do all of the little decorations and everything like that. And we've got some Ooh, of these party Look packs. at these little like, yeah. confetti dots type Cakes things. that you okay. have made here. And we're going to put these on. And these are made out of that fondant stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they can just stick right on. And I just rolled out the fondant and I use these circle cutters to cut them out. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have so circle cutters, you can always use piping tips. The circular ones, you can use the front or the back, and there's different sizes. Oops. They'll have the same effect. Okay. Whoops. Come on, Mike. And this, is, as you mentioned, it sticks because this is buttercream, right? Correct, yeah. And you can just put them all over. How do you now, make a cone-shaped cake like this? 
So is, is this entire thing edible? Yes, it's Ooh. all cake. I just baked circular cakes and then I just cut it and carved it and iced it. And so there's no mold for this thing. You have to do no, all this. No, I have this to do it. all the carving. Yes. Wow. How'd you get started doing this? Uh, my grandmother is also a cake decorator, and uh -huh. so growing up, I'd always go to her house, and she would have little projects for me to work on, um, decorating cupcakes or making cookies. So but she's the one that yeah. got me started. In this. And, and then, do you just kind of come up with all these different techniques? Do you, do you cake makers and, and artists like this share techniques? Mm -hmm. I um, apprenticed at a local cake shop when I was 17, and that's where I learned a lot, but just a lot of practicing, experimenting, YouTube, things like that. All right, so kind of after you kind of, you know, we, we decorate it with these little kind of confetti dots, mm -hmm. the next step would be. Ooh, the fun kind of party hat base, right? Correct, yeah. So you can pick your color okay. and then go ahead and just start piping. All right. And it's kind uh, of a, okay. it looks like it's it's fuzzy. Mm -hmm. So we got to have kind of like Wally's fuzzy. hair over there. Yeah, yeah. so we got to make fuzzies here. So how, we're going to try our hand at this and go. <laughs> yeah, so if you hold the bag in the middle, you yeah. have a lot more control, and then just twist. Twist. Oh, so okay. mm -hmm. even if you have... Gotcha. Right, and then just put it where you want it, squeeze, mm -hmm. and pull off. I can't even... I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> and it can be messy, it's fine. Oh, look at you, Fiona. Oh, yeah, okay. there you go. All right, now we got to do the, oh, there you go, there I go, ah, yeah, yeah, ah. What, 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 there we okay. go. Now, how about the little puff ball on mm -hmm. top? Yep. Okay, so you're going to take one of these Rice Krispie treats. Yeah. And I use chocolate and a skewer to stick them together, and you want the skewer to be the length of the cake, the height of the cake, because if it's shorter, you put it in, it's going to end up sinking down your cake. So you want the bottom oh. of the skewer to touch oh. your board. Great tip, okay. Okay, so, so do you take a skewer? And just... But before you put it in, before oh, you put it in. Wait, Sorry, I should have said that. Wait, <laughs> what? He likes to do that, then he's claimed the cake. See? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to start from upside down. You're going to turn it upside down oh, and okay. start from the bottom. And only go halfway. Oh, okay. okay so go. And same thing, just piping, squeeze and pull. Squeeze and if somebody and wants okay. to order, can you make anything? I mean, if I wanted a, uh, I don't know, a battleship, could you kind of make it? Mm -hmm, pretty much, yeah. I can do anything. And. Smooth frosting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you... in order to get the buttercream super, yes. super smooth, super smooth, right? Um, you just ice it, and I like to do a thicker layer. Uh -huh. I throw it in the freezer for about 20 minutes, and then when I pull it out, I just scrape. I don't add any more. I just scrape it off, so the cold um, hardened buttercream will be a lot easier to work with, and you can get it perfectly oh. smooth that way. Gotcha. So then once you go halfway up, you can put it in your cake. And you can finish it off. And then you can just press it down to the bottom. Okay. Mine looks like sure. bed head, like somebody slept on it. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you got farther than I did. Nice job, though. Yeah, okay. I don't know about that. Okay. All right. Thank well, you so much. If you would so like much. more information about cakes by Tori Elizabeth, you can go to our website and check out salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, cake is only the start of a party or the middle, beginning, middle, and end. I mean, come on. All right, but there's also cocktails. Oh, those are beginning, oh. middle, and end, too. <laughs> Indeed, they are. And the lady with the cocktails and also the decorations is Marky Reina Gutierrez with some fun yes. DIY ideas for your yes. indie party. So we always need something to decorate the tables with. And so what I did was we just got regular paper plates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to make it just like this. Just a cut little. a triangle right in there. Okay. Make it's gonna a make our, yeah, it's going to make our lily pad for our frog. Okay. And so what you can do with this is just, you can grab any stickers from your craft store and our pom-pom, which I found at the Dollar Tree, oh, which Dollar is always Tree. great. Mm -hmm. always <laughs> and a good thing. Um, yeah, you just stick them on there and you can make them your, so your lily pad. You can keep them as nameplates, so you can write your name on it. Because of course frogs are the yeah. Unofficial or official mascot mm -hmm. of Leap Day. Exactly. Hey, this is kind of fun. And it you know what? Fun. If you could cut that slice perfect, you could put a wine glass in there. <laughs> oh, and hold it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> hold or not, but that's always tough to do at a party. So also, you have some really fun games I that we do, can play yeah. too, right? So a simple game that anyone can make at home or kids can do is, um, I called it Toss the Frogs. We have a little toy frog here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And um, so if one of y'all wants to do it. Okay. So we have these lily pads that I painted out paper and just painted them. And each one has a point. So two, five, two, and, five ten. and ten. Mm -hmm. You can number them however you like. And they just have to stay on the lily pad? Yeah. Oh, he. Oh, six. so you got See? five points. Yes, you got five <laughs> points. See, that is a great game Try. for kids. And then if adults want to make it their own game, they can kind of incorporate the cocktails. The cocktails right? Yeah, so you can make lower the numbers if you like first. Maybe sips of your mocktail or cocktail. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Show off. Where's my drink? <laughs> really? And she gets sound effects too, so. Yes, exactly. And so it's a fun, easy game for kids and adults to play, easy to make. Oh, that's a great little game yeah. to play. One more try. You gonna go again? Oh. Uh -uh. I was okay. right there, right <laughs> there, okay? Now, where so, can folks find uh, find your work? So I'm on Instagram mm -hmm. under rain underscore designs or on Etsy, um, Raina. Designs crafts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cocktails, you have a cocktail and a mocktail. Yes, right? I have a cocktail and a mocktail. So this is yours, so you can measure. Well, okay. you don't actually need this. This will be easier with this cylinder. All right. So okay. um, for the mocktail, it's just going to be one third of everything. Okay. So for your cocktail, you will need one and a half all the way to the top of third. the cucumber vodka. Oh, oh my gosh, this already smells This reminds good. me of spring, so we're going to leap into spring with these drinks. Okay. So, um, and then it's going to be. Um, just half an ounce of lime juice, okay. and then we'll top it off with some Sprite. All right. And so that one, the mocktail just had Sprite and pineapple juice. Oh, that's good. Kids would love that. Yes, that's very good. Yeah. That is fantastic. All right. Okay. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. Why don't you score the? Oh, yeah. You know, there's an extra straw if you want to Hold try on. it. Hold on. Oh yeah. There you go. And and the party's not over. The party is, is not over. Not In fact, you have one more thing. I do. I have a you surprise might leave that behind. for you guys. Okay. Yes. You might not need here, that. Here, we'll follow right you. Now. Come follow me right outside. Right. What else? You, oh wait. Something outside here. What'd you do? Yes. Get? So I brought oh, you a bouncy house. <laughs> so everybody needs a bouncy house. house to have fun. I always say adults can have fun too with like kids. <laughs> yeah. It's um, a bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> yes, it's from Jay's party rental. So they brought it over for us to for our leap year party to leap around. And Jay's party rentals, of course, they have so many yes. options for these bouncy house houses or jump jump. Lost batteries house. Oh, uh, oh, really? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and these are incredibly fun for kids. Right. And adults. They have bigger ones as well. They have bigger yeah. ones as well. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, we want to, of course, thank Jay's Party Rentals. And for more information oh. on Jay's Party Rentals and Marquis Reina Gutierrez, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the ad scene on SA Live. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we need this out here all the time. It's kind of a stress reliever. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm liking this thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're sure Leapers wish they didn't have their actual birthdays only once every four years. Ooh. You know, so, but there are only a lot of things we wish only happened once every four years. So Argent Tobias Trotsky went to the Frosty Frog Street Suites to ask people what do they wish only happened once every four years. Hmm. <laughs> The Frosty Frog, so fitting for leap year. We stopped by the shops at Bandera Point to get a taste of this popular food truck. Well, I'm here with Angelique, the owner of the Frosty Frog food truck. Angelique, tell me first of all about your food truck. What are some of the things that make it so unique? Well, we have a lot of specialties, um, the different creations. Uh, our cha-cha worm is one of the specialties that we create um, with gummy worms and pickles and all the chamoy and chili salt. And then we also have our salty frog, which has cucumbers in it, some pickles and the lime flavor. So many people love all our treats and enjoy it. Oh, our extreme nada split is with mango and strawberry nada with pickles loaded with all your candies, your red belt, multicolor belt, pickles, gummy worms, you name it, it's on it. We've been here for 10 years at the Bandera Point Shopping Center. So it's, yeah, it's a one-stop shop. You can come and get all your treats. First, we're gonna enjoy some treats here. Then we're gonna go around asking people, since it's leap year this weekend, what do you wish happened only once every four years? Uh, not paying any bills, uh, <laughs> not paying any taxes. <laughs> That's a great answer. Now that you know about the truck, time to leap into some fun. We thought we'd hear from some of their customers. So what do you wish would happen only once every four years? I'm gonna start with you, Ava. Brushing my teeth. <laughs> That's a good one. I wish I could do that just once every four years. What about you, Jesse? That's a really uh, take down Christmas decorations. That is, those are great <laughs> answers. Cool. 
That's a tough one for me. I'd have to say school. <laughs> once every four That's years. It. Okay. That's it. So only once every four years you wish you would get sick, right? Yeah. Because you were pretty sick last week, huh? Uh-huh. That's not fun, right? No. Once every four years, I would love to have daylight savings. What do you wish happened only once every four years? Uh, I would like own school for one every four years. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to take three years off? Wait, yeah, and then just go, okay, take a break, right? That's a nice long break. Forget summer. We're going to take years off. Okay, good answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maybe only work once every four years. That would be really Ooh. great. Take a nice little three-year vacation. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> good answer. I mean, I, I love my job. Don't, don't no, do, do anything about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You definitely don't want to wait four years to come check out the treats at the Frosty Frog. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. I kind of like that one about the uh, the whole uh, once every four years. Hey, yeah, Frosty Frogs, sweet street sweet, sweets. Easy to say. <laughs> yes, at the Bandera Point Shopping Center. Uh, if you head there tomorrow and mention you saw them on SA Live, you will get 10% off your purchase. So. Go get a treat and celebrate the leap. You got one that something that only happened every four years? I know, we liked that income tax. The income tax. That was yeah. good. How about actual aging? That would be that good. Would be nice. Or, on the flip side <laughs> of it, if you could just work out once and it would last for four years. Yeah. That would be good. That would be good too. What do you think? What would you like to see happen just once every four years? Mm -hmm. Let us know at yeah. SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll air some of those ideas later on in the show. Yeah. All right, still ahead on SA Live. From home improvement ideas to entertainment to food, there's something for everyone at this weekend's Home and Garden Show. If all that's not enough, you're about to meet the celebrity chef who's going to be there. But first, little critters are here to celebrate the leapers, learn some fun facts about these bouncing babies and how you and the family can snuggle up with them. That's next on SA Live. <laughs> Look at this little fluff ball. If that's not the cutest thing you have ever seen, he is one of the little leapers here to help us celebrate leap year and leap day coming up tomorrow. Ashley Duncan, the owner of Janda Exotics Animal Ranch, is here to introduce us to a few bouncing babies yes. and um, some other high flying friends. Yes. Know? Who is this guy? This is Wally, and he's an English Angora bunny. He has very, very luxurious, long, long hair. This the fur is so thick, you cannot, you can't get your fingers down in there. It, it's that thick. He uh, gets groomed almost every day mm -hmm. um, with his Furminator brush. Um, it, it really just doesn't end. Uh, you could groom him all the time. And, th and that, everything that's ending up on the brush, that's what they're known for, right? That's what they're, I mean, that's what this bunny is, you know, kind of bred for, their fiber, their fur. Um, it's very, very different from other bunnies' fur. And you can make things out of it. You can spin it and make clothing and gloves or... Look at how much yeah. fur I got off of him just yeah. in that, those couple of uh, strokes yes. with that. Yes. And you shave him every once in a while. And once about, once about a year. Okay. You know, when it gets warm, yeah. he likes a little comfort. That does look... Okay. Look but it, it keeps there. him very warm on these really weird cold and nights. the ears are yeah. fantastic <laughs> on that thing. Yes. Oh and, my goodness. And folks can kind of snuggle up with Wally, Absolutely, right? Over yes. there at the ranch? We do offer cuddle cabins and Wally is one of our cuddle cabin residents. He loves to snuggle up on people's laps and you can pet him and hold him and he is one of the main stars in our cuddle cabin right now. Speaking of cuddling and snuggling in, I mean the happiest little guy in the whole place is this one. Yes, yeah. this is the leaping <laughs> the main leaper here. This is Who Tigger. Is this? Tigger. Tigger, appropriately named. Um, he's a red kangaroo. He's about ten months old, and he is um, a baby. He'll grow much bigger than this. How big? Big. Two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. Oh, wow. That's a red kangaroo. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest. Biggest one. Yep, yeah. the biggest one there is, and um, he will get. He can get pretty, pretty big. But right now he lives in his pouch since he's a baby. They grow really, really slow, um, so he can stay in the pouch for months, um, months at a time. And of course, those, those kicks when he's older is gonna be pretty powerful, right? You wanna, you wanna be a kangaroo's friend when they get older. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, here my, is. I can't even right now. Wait, look, look right over there. Can you, can you look at the camera right there? Look at that little guy. Who is this? Am I take a nibble? Ow, ow, <laughs> he's got sharp teeth. Who, who, who is that? This is a fennec fox. Oh, it's the silver fox his, holding a baby fox? His name is Mango. <laughs> oh, how 
adorable is this guy? Now, he's not going to get much bigger than this, right? Just a couple of pounds. He's, he's the tiniest fox, and he's just a few weeks old. He's only five weeks old, so he'll get much bigger. Um, he's learning how to be a fox, and that includes using his teeth on, you know, fingers. Almost, fingers yes, <laughs> anything. Yep. Yeah, uh huh. Oh and my so, goodness gracious. Even though he's God. small, mm -hmm. can he can he jump big? They really don't jump mm -hmm. very leap. fast. They they don't Bounce. leap. You know, they Bounce. they are a little bouncy. <laughs> I get. They're sort of like a little chihuahua when they run around, okay. but they're not really very jumpy and bouncy. But um, they they make they're really fun and really awesome pets. Okay. And this next guy that we have here. You can hold the little baby fox baby. and okay. this guy, thank you, Robert, who is, oops, get the claws out of there. Who's this guy? This is a kinkajou. Oh, hi, hi. And he's a nocturnal mammal from the rainforest. And he's just a few weeks old also. Look at those he's, eyes. Yeah. You can tell he's nocturnal with that. Looks like yeah. he's about to yawn. Hi, now these buddy. guys don't leap either. They kind of like crawl around in the trees. They use their tails a lot. Um, and they're also very nocturnal. So right now he's normally sleeping. So he's wondering why we're we're waking him up and looking. Oh, right. You can go to sleep and just. He loves to snuggle. Oh yes, he loves uh, to get. He's kisses. awake at night when you're awake yeah. at night, right? <laughs> just, a, just about. Can you want to snuggle in there, buddy? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Oh well, thank you very much. Thank you all okay. so much. All and right. Where are you guys located? We're in Kingsbury, Texas. We're about 15 minutes east of San Marcos. We have our cuddle cabins that we do on the weekends. We offer tours, and you can meet all of these animals in person and, and see how from, awesome. Look, there he goes. There and for more information <laughs> on Janda Exotic Animal Ranch, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead at about 1.30 on SA Live, jump, bounce, leap your way into fitness. We're showing you a workout that will help you keep up with those critters you just saw. And next, a celebrity chef in SA, where you can see this queen of the kitchen and maybe even learn some of her secrets. That's coming up on SA Live. Hi, I'm Julia Collin Davison from America's Test Kitchen and you're watching SA Live. Oh, it's great when the celebrities do that. Yeah. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it is finally here. The San Antonio Spring Home and Garden Show starts today at the Alamo Dome. They have everything you need for a good home improvement project. Workshops, seminars, tips with dog trainers, and oh, so much food. And that's what Jen Tobias Trusky is checking out today with the Celebrity Chef. Hey guys, yes, one of the highlights, if you come out here to the Home and Garden Show, you get to meet celebrity <laughs> chef Julia Collin Davison with America's Test Kitchen, one of the longest running instructional cooking shows. Not one of the longest the running one, cooking shows. Which is so awesome. Yeah, been doing this a long time. And it says a lot about, I mean, people watching and getting to learn. Yes, you. that's it. We just, we talk about the science of a recipe and why recipes work and they don't work, so you can learn how to be a better cook. Okay, well, I want to learn some things. Yeah, yeah some things I do. To show us. These are just a few easy hacks that make your life a little easier. First up, we have a coffee grinder. So you're grinding your own beans. These are gorgeous local beans from here in San Antonio. So you have a coffee grinder, it's loud. What you can do is you take a mitt or, this is our winning tortilla warmer. It keeps tortillas warm for up That's to an awesome. hour. <laughs> so you put this over, not as loud. What? No, it is loud. Even a pot holders work even a little bit better. So at first so. I thought you were giving me tortillas, but no. <laughs> this is the silence no, this Let is me the tell you, this set. mom in the morning when I'm grinding my beans, right. I'm like, Quack. Every minute counts when they're still asleep. I, I take it to another room. <laughs> I put a towel. I mean, that. I'm going to use that. Yeah. Well, also, this is a great tool. Yes. All right, so now here we have, if you're packing lunch and you have a delicate piece of fruit, like a plum or a peach, and I'm going to use an apple here. Here I have a little Spurs koozie. Go, Spurs, go. Yep. <laughs> As you take your fruit and you just, it gives it a little padding. Ooh. So that if it bounces around in your lunch box, or your bag, it doesn't get as bruised as easily. I just packed a peach in my daughter's lunch right? this morning. They bruise so fast. And I wish I would have known that because we have so many of these just like in the <laughs> right? cabinet. Oh, I love that. All wow. right. So this is, uh, this last hack is my absolute favorite. So cherry tomatoes, we love them. I'm from Boston, which is very cold right now. Unseasonably here too, yes. I have to say. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so we like using these in Boston because they're always in season. They're always sweet. Uh, tomatoes we get in the winter are usually up there so good. Mm -hmm. So we use them a lot, but most recipes have you cut them in half. And yes. usually you have to cut them in half one right, at a time. Right. So what you want to do is grab two extra deli lids. You could also use yogurt tops. Okay. And you put the cherry tomatoes in there. You take a second lid, you put it on top. 
and then you just oh go God. through the center. Stop it. Yes, I'm and you away. have half what the cherry tomatoes. Like I magic know. <laughs> well, you can do this with grapes. You can do this with olives. It just it works really well. So it saves you a ton of time. Oh my gosh, you just blew me away. <laughs> that was so fast. I'm blown away three different ways. And let's talk about your books really quick. Yeah. So this is our new Mediterranean Instapot book. Actually, I'm making a recipe from this book at my demos today and tomorrow. I'll be here midday tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a salmon. And this, of course, this is the Mac Daddy. This is a tome. <laughs> it is so heavy. A thousand recipes. So this is our 20th anniversary book, and it has it all in there. All right. Well, she's busy today. But she will be out here. You can come. You can meet her. You're going to go teach at. Uh, you're going to go speak to some students at South Sand. That's here right. As well. So so happy to have you here. Thank in town. you. Nice Such to meet pleasure. you. I'm going to take these hacks and use yeah. those for sure. Also at the Spring San Antonio Home and Garden Show, take a look at these glow domes. This Montana based company drove 36 hours. I was told once they got here, they put it together so quickly. You won't even believe it. Take a look inside. This is so amazing. So you got to come out here to see it for yourself and see what it's all about. Back to you guys. Very cool down there. The Spring San Antonio Home and Garden Show runs today through Sunday at the Alamo Dome, and you can get two tickets for the price of one with the promo code KSAT at checkout on their website, SanAntonioSpringHomeShow.com. Or you can enter to win a family four pack. Oh, wait. That's right. Straight to teases. Coming up. Man, I'm telling you, she's all of that and more. Never felt like this before. Yeah, buddy. His album just came out a month ago and he's performing tomorrow in SA. We're giving you a sneak peek at Wynn Williams. And next, looking to leap tall buildings in a single bound? Well, maybe you won't be that strong, but this workout could give you some pretty powerful legs. Mine are still sore. That's straight ahead. Okay, let's yeah. do this. Here we go. This is leap year workout. Uh-huh. This is all gonna end up in the feet. <laughs> Well, you want to leap into the leap year with a solid workout. And here to help us do that is Jade McDaniel, studio manager at I Love Kickboxing, Stone Oak. I'm ready to leap into a good time and a good workout. All right, Fiona, so I'm gonna show you four moves to help you leap into your workout okay. here. We got lateral leaps right here. So you're gonna hop over, so when you're doing this, what do you need to remember? You need to remember to land nice and soft with the ball of your foot, and you're trying to come up, come up again right away for that next leap. When you're doing this exercise, you're really working your calf muscles as well as your cardio and the explosiveness of being able to come right back up for that next leap. All right, Fiona, so now I'm gonna show you what's called the leaping 180. So we're gonna start in that lovely squat, making sure that we're wiggling those toes, keep the toes up off the mat. You're gonna hop and you're gonna turn and you're gonna land in the same position, full 180. Ready, and go. And we land in that squat. From there, you're gonna do the same thing, turn back the other way. Ready, and go. Good, how's that feel? Woo! Feeling the burn? Oh, yes. Let's do another one, ready, and go. And one more, go. Good, so this is gonna really tone up those quads and get those front muscles to show. All right, Fiona, so your next exercise right here is gonna be your leaping lunge. So we're gonna start in that lunge position with one foot forward. And you're gonna make sure there's a 90 degree bend in both your legs here, keeping that yeah. back leg to where the knee is directly under the hip. Uh -huh. From there, you're gonna hop and you're gonna switch your feet. Ready, and go. And one more. Hold it there, and we're using those hands to make sure that we're all balanced out and that we don't fall over. And we're gonna go a few more, ready? And go. Good, and again, and again. And we're landing in that lunge, nice and safe to take some pressure off of the knees here and really make sure that we're working those quads. You feeling it, Fiona? Yes. I have one more for you. Thank so we have what's called the lateral squat leap. So okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in that squat. You're gonna do a squat in place, work the glutes, and then you're gonna come back down and you're gonna hop to the side. Ready, and go. And we land in that squat, do a squat in place. Come back up and jump. And another squat, stand and jump. Squat, stand, squat, jump. And you're gonna really feel it working the, the glutes at the bottom of that squat. You wanna be tightening up every muscle in your lower body as well as your core. All right, Fiona, give me some, girl. You did great. Yes. It's a, such a great workout. I think you can do it again tomorrow. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty glad I'm only going to have to do this every four years. 
leap year. Because that was a good, it was a good workout, but it was tough. <laughs> it was tough. All right, tell folks how to find you. Just go to ilovekickboxing.com, enter your zip code, get yourself a few classes. That way you guys can get in here, try it out for this leap year. All right, and for more information, of course, on I Love Kickboxing Stone Oak, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, he's a former rodeo cowboy turned country music singer. See for yourself why people say he reminds them of why they fell in love with country music. That's straight ahead. That girl's a picture of perfection. Welcome back everyone. Well, he's a 25 year old former rodeo cowboy gaining attention across the country for his dynamic live shows and modern take on country music. Wynn Williams is performing tonight at Cheatham Street Warehouse in San Marcos and tomorrow at the Travis Two Step in Travis Park. Right now, find out why audiences are falling in love with Wynn Williams. Of a bragger, a lot of guys wish that they had her. They turn their head and we walk by. Maybe it's the dress that she's wearing. It's got them all talking and staring. The only thing I know is she's on mine. Yeah, buddy, got a pretty little girl who loves me. I know it when I feel her touch me. How'd I ever get so lucky? Let me tell you how she's got a good hold of me. Well, she's right on the money. She's my little country honey. Man, I'm telling you, she's all of that and more. Never felt like this before, yeah, buddy. Tell you how she's got a good hold of me Well, she's right on the money She's my little country honey Man, I'm telling you She's all of that and more Never felt like this before, yeah, buddy Yeah, buddy I got a pretty little girl who loves me I know it when I feel her touch me How'd I ever get so lucky? Let me tell you how she's got a good hold of me Well, she's right on the money She's my little country honey Man, I'm telling you she's all of that and more Never felt like this before, yeah, buddy Yeah, buddy Yeah, buddy performing tonight at Cheatham Street Warehouse in San Marcos and tomorrow at the Travis Two Step in Travis Park. His self-titled debut album was just released on January 24th. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much, Wynn. All right, Monday on SA Live, sleepovers like you've never seen before, where you can find these pop-up tents for your kids' next pajama party or a fun take on a date night. And. If you don't feel like getting out of your pajamas to brave the cold, we have all the things you need to make you feel comfy and cozy at home. That's all Monday at 1 on the SA Live Pajama Party Show.
Well, it's a worldwide epidemic, but it is really a problem here in San Antonio. Fatty liver disease. As a matter of fact, 60 to 70 percent of people screened in a local study were found to have fatty livers. But now there's a new drug being developed to help treat that disease. Dr. Sherwin Schwartz is an endocrinologist with Endeavor Clinical Trials and is part of a development group to try and come up with a drug for that. Definitely. Good afternoon, sir. First of all, afternoon. how serious is fatty liver disease? Fatty liver disease is has no symptoms. People don't know they have it. Fatty liver can progress 20% of the time to a fatty type of hepatitis. 20% of these people can develop cirrhosis and cirrhosis can develop into needing transplantation. So we're trying to get this at the earliest form of the disease so we can do something about it. How does fatty liver disease come about? Is it caused sure. by lifestyle or just yes. hereditary? You were right on both. Okay. It occurs more in San Antonio uh, among Hispanics, primarily. Anglos too, but more. Hispanics are twice as much as Anglos. Anglos are about 50% more than African Americans. So Hispanics primarily, if you're obese, eating the wrong things, uh, it occurs primarily in diabetes or a family history of diabetes. And so it's really a complication of diabetes, which I've worked on for 40 years here in San Antonio. It, it's just part of eye, kidney, nerve disease, diabetes, now liver disease. The same okay. thing. So, like you said, there are no real symptoms, but it can lead to yes, very much worse things. Yes, significant problems. And the beautiful thing is we have ways of diagnosing it. When I was early in practice in San Antonio, we said, oh, you have fatty liver disease. We didn't know the significance. But then I saw in clinical practice, I had two or three patients die of this disease. It's like, oh, wait a minute. But there were no drugs in development. Now, what's important is there's actually dozens of drugs in development, and we're very privileged in San Antonio at Endeavor Clinical Trials to have multiple drugs to develop. We're working on drugs right now, a population of people, and we're looking for people 18 to 60 years old for this particular trial, mm -hmm. and they have to be healthy on really no meds, and they have to be obese, uh, and they have to be either no diseases at all, or if they have diabetes, we prefer a Hispanic, really. We prefer an 18 to 60 year old Hispanic, family history of diabetes, obese, and if they have diabetes, maybe be diet controlled or only on metformin and good control and no other medications. So if somebody chooses to participate, uh, what, what's it all gonna involve? They will be, we have certain studies that are ongoing actually now that they'll be housed for, for weeks at a time and compensation can be many thousands of dollars. We have other trials that will go on for months and years, which will be also thousands of dollars, some short ones, some hundreds of dollars. We have all kinds of trials. So anywhere from housing them for uh, a short period of time, for thousands and longer period of time for thousands of dollars. Well, if you'd like more information on this research study to develop a drug for fatty liver disease, you can call 210-880-2279. Again, that number is 210-880-2279. Or for information on Endeavor Clinical Trials, visit the website joinaresearchstudy.com. Right. Earlier, we asked you, what do you want to happen? You know, the word only happens every four years. Julie says, vehicle registration renewal. That is a good one. I like that one. Hey, after you celebrate Leap Day tomorrow, Sunday is National Peanut Butter Lovers Day, and PBJ and Tay over there in the yard off McCullough brought some of these great peanut butter and jelly and everything else sandwiches by. Yes, this one right here is the Make My Tay, and it has cream cheese, bacon, and grape. <laughs> I know, hold on. Ah, oh. I'm going first. Ah, I'm going first. Razz me, no more questions. Oh, it's so Bananas, worth it. Bananas, walnuts, and raspberry. Hey, so have a great it. weekend. Have a great weekend.